Where you see yourself at right here? Come look at this. Where you see yourself at? Aztecs? Yeah? You believe in the Bible? You do? Let me show you something real quick. Give me uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Let's deal with that real quick. So if God gave us, according to the Bible, you're an Issachar. You're from the tribe of Issachar, right? Is that what that say? Is that what they say next to it? Aztec? What? What? what they say? Say it. What, next to it. Mexican? And then next to it says what? Is a car. Is a car. Because, dude, because you call yourself an Aztec because that is the name that the oppressors gave you. But God calls you Is a car. That was your original name. So God gave you rules in the Bible. Let me show you a rule real quick. Read that. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Now you said you believe in the Bible, right? You love God. You love Jesus, right? This is what God said to Jesus. Read that. In like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. Do you, do you consider yourself a woman? So it says, read that again. In like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. So God says women should adorn themselves, mean decorate themselves in modest apparel. You understand that? So what that means is women shouldn't be wearing tight, revealing clothes. Short dresses, skirts, and stuff like that. Booty shorts, showing the cheeks of your derriere. God, because that's not modest. God said, hey look, you have a dress code because you're my daughter. So there's a particular type of clothing you should be wearing. Deuteronomy now. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. So God said, look, you being my daughter, you being my daughter, right? Brenda, right? Brenda, here's the dress code God said that you should wear. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So he said, Brenda, the woman, right? You should wear modest clothing and you should not wear what belongs to a man, right? You go to the bathroom when you go to a public washroom, correct? When you just just say if it doesn't have any wording on it, how are you gonna know which bathroom to go into? But how do you know if it's a girl? It has a sign. What does the sign show? A woman. How do you know it's a woman? Because it has on a dress, right? And you know that the man has on what? Pants, right? So the man, he belong in pants, right? A woman belong in a dress, right? Read it again from the top. The woman, the woman, Brenda, shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So the woman should wear anything that men should wear. You understand that? So what do you have on right now that you shouldn't be wearing, Brenda? Pants, right? So these are the things that we're out here to teach our people because look, they say they love God. They say they believe in the Bible, but we don't do what the Bible says. So Brenda, I'm trying to help you to understand and get closer to God. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man should put on a dress, read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. The word abomination means God isn't pleased with that. God, you know what, he punishes sin. Breaking what this says means sin. Sin equals death. That's why a lot of us is getting sick. That's why a lot of us get coronavirus. This neighborhood is higher coronavirus. Little Village is one of the highest parts of Chicago in the nation that has coronavirus. We're trying to help you to not be that way, sis. We're trying to help you put this knowledge in you so you can go back to your family and tell them the same thing. I'm going to leave you with this one scripture. Give me uh, Acts 3 and 3 and 19. I'm going to leave you with this one scripture. I'm going to leave you with some hope so that you can go back and change your whole mindset so you can start being on the right side of God so this bad things won't come to you. Read that real quick. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it up. Uh, Repent ye therefore. So God says, you know what, now that you know that you shouldn't wear pants, he said, look, turn away from that. Stop doing it. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it now. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you say you're going to work, when you get off work, come out of no pants. Don't wear no more pants. Get you a nice, pretty dress so you could be a princess the way God designed you to be. Read on. Repent ye therefore and uh, be converted. And be converted means change your mind and change your ways. That's the only way. It's by keeping God's law. It's the only way you're going to be able to do that. Because you say you believe in the Bible and you believe in God. But have you ever heard this before, brother? You never heard it before. That's why God brought you here today. Right. So that you can hear this, so that you can change. Read on. And be converted uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. Don't you want God to forgive your sins? Sins is breaking what he says. It's just like when you was young and you and your parents told you not to do something and you did it anyways, they punished you. 
Maybe they took something away from you. Maybe they wouldn't allow you to go outside no more. But they gave you a punishment for not doing what they said. So God says, look, if you repent, stop wearing pants, and turn away from it, I'm going to forgive you for everything that you ever did so that you can get the kingdom of God. Give me Matthew 19, 7, 16. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse hey, 16. Brother, don't you want to go to heaven? Don't you want to go to heaven? You don't want to go to heaven? No? You sure? Read that real quick. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, uh -huh. one came and said unto him, right. Good master, uh -huh. what good things shall I do? So the good things you should do is keep God's laws. Read. That I may have eternal life. Read on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? So why do we call God good? Why do we call Jesus good? Because he is good. But guess what Jesus said? Because he was humble. Read. Excuse me. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So if you want to go to heaven, this is how you get to heaven. Read on. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life. So if you want to get to heaven, read. Keep the commandments. You have to keep the commandments of God. You have to keep the commandments of God if you want to get to heaven. Right. You can't go to mass on Sunday with, with a crucifix priest and think you're going to get to heaven. Teach. You can't get a, 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 a wafer and drink some wine thinking you're going to get communion and, get, and go to heaven. You have to do something. God's love is conditional. You have to do something in order for you to get to heaven. You understand that? Give me John 14. 14, uh, 15, uh, 14, 15. I got you. You have to keep God's laws in order for you to get to heaven. And if you love God, you're going to keep his commandments. And we're going to give some commandments to you while you wipe, while you're in this line waiting to go into the store to break God's Sabbath. Read that. The book of St. John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Read. If ye love me, because, because you love God, right? Don't you love God? Read. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love God, do what he say do. And this is one of the things he says to do. Give me that in Deuteronomy again. Because if you love God, you're going to do what God says to do. And you know what? We haven't been taught to do what God says to do. God says women should not wear pants. God says women should put on dresses. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So all the women should do should not wear with that which pertain to a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither should a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman shouldn't wear pants and a man should not wear a dress. We have a lot of men wear dresses these days. And mostly all the women wear pants. That's why God jacks us up. That's why we are high blood pressure. That's why we are high diabetes. That's why there's crime running through our neighborhood. That's why out of Toledo is happening in our neighborhood. Read on. The woman, excuse me, yeah, the woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither should a man put on a woman's garment. It's a real important, it's real important for women to adhere to what God says. Because the women teach the kids. So if the woman is in good standing with God and keeping what God says, she's going to teach the kids the same thing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.